This is the JBZ presentation. JBZ back with another one. It seems like it's a big debate on YouTube about who Anthony Joshua should be fighting in his U.S. debut. Some people say Ortiz and some people say Miller. I think the big Deontay fans, and I'm not a Deontay hater, but I'm not a big fan like a lot of other people. They want Anthony Joshua to fight Luis Ortiz so they can compare the two against Ortiz, okay? What I mean by like what I mean by that is Deontay Wilder fought Ortiz and he knocked him out. Okay, the tenth round or whatever. I can't remember. And now they want to see if Anthony Joshua can do it. That's what that's all about. We want to see how Anthony Joshua looks against Luis Ortiz. Now, if Anthony Joshua knocks him out quickly, they're gonna say, oh well, after Deontay Wilder he hasn't been the same. Which is true. Luis Ortiz hasn't been the same fighter after um, Deontay Wilder. I think that's part of Deontay Wilder and a part of Luis Ortiz is really older than he say he is. He's old, the age, is, age he gives us is old already, but I'm thinking he's three or four years older than that. You know what I'm saying? So that's one part of it. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to see what Anthony Joshua's gonna do against Ortiz. And that's the only reason they want to fight, see Luis Ortiz against Anthony Joshua. Period. Jamel Baby Miller is a, a good opponent for Anthony Joshua June 1st in New York. Simply because Jamel Miller is from New York. And another thing is, now they got some personal beef. Jamel Miller didn't talk about his wife. I mean, not his wife, um, his, his mother. And um, that's a no-no in any neighborhood. I don't care what neighborhood. You don't talk about anybody's mom. So we got that going. Jamel Miller is undefeated, even though his resume is questionable. But he's undefeated, and he's from New York, and they got a personal beef. All That's a recipe for a good fight. Luis Ortiz does not deserve another title shot right now. He's looked terrible in his last two fights anyway. He hasn't looked good anymore. He doesn't look good. So, I don't, I don't I met me, myself, in my opinion, I don't want to see Ortiz against Anthony Joshua. I don't. Did Deontay Wilder fans want to do it? Because they want to compare. But Styles makes fights, so you can't really compare what one man does to an opponent to another man that does to an opponent to the same opponent that is ridiculous and to be honest my personal opinion we shouldn't even have this conversation about Jarrell Miller fighting Anthony Joshua it should be Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua fighting in June that's real not Luis Ortiz not Jarrell Miller we should be having a unified heavyweight title match in June. If I had to break down this fight right now, I would think all the advantages go to Anthony Joshua. Except weight. You know, Jamel Jer Miller comes in sometimes 300 pounds. I doubt he'll come in 300 pounds in this fight because this is a championship fight. So I'm hopefully he's going to train extra hard to be in shape. I don't know if that's going to help because he doesn't have power like that. He doesn't have, Anthony, I mean, Deontay Wilder power, Dylan White power. He doesn't have power like that. He puts punches together real good, those combinations. But I don't know if he has enough power to keep AJ off of him. So right now, I would have to pick AJ by knockout. Leave your comments. Please subscribe. JBZ, I'm out.